Hi, Anthony here with a review on Photojet, which is a free web-based graphic design software, collage maker, and photo editor. Back in September 2015, I had done a Photojet review, and it was just a collage maker then. It has since evolved into a graphic design tool, photo editor, and a much more enhanced collage maker. With the collage maker, you can create 3D collages, photo grids, cards for various occasions, as well as magazine covers. You don't need to register to use Photojet. However, registered users have access to special features and many more templates. So I would highly recommend registering if you intend to take full advantage of all the features. I'm a registered user myself. If you're not a registered user and if you try to use one of the templates that's available for registered members, you will see a message similar to this one. So this is what the Photojet homepage looks like. And to create a collage, graphic design, or use a photo editor, you just click one of these buttons down below, depending on what you want to do. Let's start with a collage. You can either start a collage from scratch, or use one of the many pre-made templates. They have hundreds of templates in various categories. Let's choose the 3D collage. This is what the user interface looks like, and you start off with a blank canvas. In this left side panel, you choose a template. These numbers up top allow you to filter collage templates by the numbers of pictures in a collage. For example, this collage only uses one picture, and I'll choose this one. So once you click on the template, you will see it on the canvas. Next, we need to upload a picture using this right side panel. You can either upload from the computer or from Facebook, and I'm going to upload from my computer. I'll choose this one. You then essentially just drag and drop the picture onto the canvas like so. You can then adjust and crop the picture by double clicking it. You will see this contextual menu when you click on the picture in the collage. You can apply filters, you can rotate and flip the picture, you can also work with layers and add a background, as well as duplicate the picture or delete it. In this left side panel, you can insert a text box, clip art, shapes, and a background to your collage. As you can see, I applied a very subtle background. You can even use an image as a background. Once you're done, you can save the collage and even share it on social media using the share button. And here are a couple of 3D collages that I created. Going back to where we started creating collages, you can also create collages from scratch, like I mentioned earlier, using the classic collage. It works similar to what I showed you using the pre-made templates. You so essentially choose the appropriate collage layout, and then start populating it with your pictures, like so. With the graphic design tool, you can create social media banners, covers, and posts. These are some of the Facebook covers. The approach to creating social media covers is the same as creating collages. And these are some of the YouTube channel art templates, and they are all customizable. Photojet also comes with a built-in photo editor, which has some pretty cool editing features. You essentially upload the picture you want to edit. I'll choose this one, and then you'll see it on the canvas. The basic features include cropping, resizing, rotating and flipping, changing the exposure and color. It also has an auto-enhancing tool. The advanced features are only available for registered users, and I particularly like the dehaze, vignette, and focus features. I don't want to make this video too long, so I will be creating a separate video focusing on the photo editor. Well, I hope this video review gives you a good idea of all the features and functionality of Photojet. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for stopping by.